one of the functions of government regulations, government interventions of one kind or another is to bring the two into alignment and to the extent that governments are successful in bringing them into alignment, then uh, the um, uh, uh, businesses can play a very important role in uh, the promotion uh, of development. Uh, to the extent that they fail, uh, it can have a very negative effect on development. And a, a lot of uh, what has happened in the last 10 or 15 years is a, uh, is a fight between businesses, particularly businesses uh, whose interests are not aligned to make sure that regulations are not passed, and the rest of society to try to tame uh, businesses to bring them into alignment. Uh, and uh, so uh, as one thinks about the issue, you could look down various sectors and various kinds of firms and uh, ask the question, in some cases the alignment is much closer and in other cases uh, it's much further apart. Um, one of the reasons I say different kinds of firms, uh, because uh, there are some firms that are, you might say, uh, more tamed uh, by concern about reputation uh, than others. So uh, take in one area uh, uh, natural resources, uh, the uh, publicly listed companies have been quite good in getting good websites uh, showing that they are very responsible, a little bit less responsible than their websites would have you believe. Uh, but uh, the private companies, like Ivanhoe's, is a very big private mining company, tends to be absolutely despicable. And um, one of the interesting things is the good public companies uh, actually have been asking for strong regulation because they know that they can't get away with the kinds of bad behavior that the Ivanhoe can get away with, and they believe that they're, you know, that the competitive advantage of the private company is leaving pollution behind, uh, destruction behind, and they can't do that. So they want a level playing field, and so one of the drivers for, for. Uh, 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 good regulation happens to be, I think, some of the publicly listed companies. I was, uh, and just as an example, I was in a meeting uh, with the Premier of China with uh, uh, one of the big uh, mining companies, and he began his discussion saying we need much stronger environmental regulations. And you know, I was at first a little bit surprised because it wasn't the usual uh, shtick you hear from uh, mining companies. But he said, Look, "Really?" And, and I asked him afterwards, "Why did you say it?" And it was exactly the point uh, that I gave. Um, at the other uh, uh, extreme, there are some uh, uh, new uh, business models that are being developed of companies that are. Uh, uh, trying to be explicitly uh, focused on social responsibility and saying that we, we want to, uh, uh, our returns are social returns as well as economic returns and that there are lots of people who are willing to invest, not lots, but a few people willing to invest uh, money uh, getting returns that are lower, uh, 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 undertake higher risk uh, but knowing that there are social returns. Uh, there was a little bit of, there was a, a, a supplement to the FT uh, about a week ago on some of these. One of the one, one, the one that got the highest uh, rating was a fund called Acumen that supports private investment uh, in a number of developing countries uh, that I've been on the uh, board. And then at the other extreme, I mean, uh, another new corporate form, or you might say corporate form, a new form, our social uh, are the sovereign wealth funds, which are funds owned by governments that have another reputation concern. They obviously don't want to uh, uh, do things that their citizens are angry about and feel like uh, they have an even more uh, sense of uh, corporate social responsibility because they are accountable in a different context. 
there are some very good uh, sovereign wealth funds like that of Norway, which is explicitly in its uh, 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 charter uh, pushing issues of good corporate government, good environment, uh, and so forth. Um, but even uh, other ones, uh, you know, like in China, are much more aware of, of the, the notion of corporate social responsibility. So that's, uh, I want to just emphasize the, the importance of different organizational forms affecting the extent to which they promote development. Um, if we look across sectors, uh, I think we see some sectors where uh, the interests are more likely to be aligned, some sectors where they're not. Uh, and uh, some of the factors that David identified were some of the factors that play a role. But for instance, in natural resources, the alignment often is very bad uh, because you have strong incentives to bribe governments. It's a lot easier to minimize your costs by bribing the government than paying market prices, and much cheaper. Uh, those who go into uh, 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 corporations will find that out. Um, so. Uh, uh, and here, government regulation can, can make a difference. The Foreign Corrupt Practices Act uh, in the United States has uh, tied the hands of American companies. Uh, when I was uh, uh, chairman of Council of uh, Economic Advisors in the United States, we pushed, I pushed for anti-bribery laws to be passed by all the countries. And it was really very striking how many countries in the OECD very much opposed uh, these anti-bribery laws. They say it will give us, uh, it will hurt our businesses because it takes away an instrument of government policy, uh, of economic policy. Um, and uh, uh, um, I think that's an example where explicitly uh, businesses undermine well-functioning, democ uh, undermine democracies and, and have effects that are not only bad for the economy, but uh, for society. Finally, uh, so one has to think about uh, those broad range of, of issues. Um, uh, finally, um, well, let me just mention, different companies have different business models uh, where uh, externalities may, in some cases, uh, uh, promoting development can be a very positive one, and there's some agriculture, take even agriculture. There are a couple uh, uh, very uh, successful British companies that have based their success on smallholder tea growing uh, and have been very uh, effective in uh, uh, promoting, uh, you might say, development capacity at smallholders. Uh, on the other hand, uh, there are companies like Monsanto, who I might think almost uh, a broad consensus, have had a very negative effect on development uh, for a whole variety of reasons we can talk about later. Finally, let me just uh, emphasize, I, I talked about rules and regulations as, as part of the taming of uh, corporations and trying to align interests. Uh, the WTO has been playing a very negative role in making it more difficult to do this. And in that sense, international rules have made the, the challenge of aligning uh, these uh, more difficult. A particular example is uh, uh, there are cases where, where uh, uh, domestic purchase requirements, learning requirements, domestic hiring requirements, that could be an effective way of making sure that foreign direct investment has a pro-development uh, impact are being, there's an attempt by the WTO to restrict these kinds of uh, actions. So, because WTO is not, is not pro-development, it's been very anti-development uh, on the whole. So, um, I think when evaluating the question, one not only has to look at the regulatory policies within the country, uh, but also uh, internationally. Finally, one more thing, which is uh, uh, the, uh, International financial markets have, uh, as we list the, the sectors, probably played a very negative role. The short-term uh, international capital markets of creating instability, which uh, and and uh, short-term 
promoting short-termism, which is contrary to long-term development strategy. So they promoted opening capital markets. That opening of capital markets have facilitated uh, high degrees of instability and short-termism, and that has been very anti-development. Uh, so some of the particular policy frameworks that have been promoted by uh, certain sectors, I think, have had a very adverse effect.